What's up YouTube and welcome back. Today I'm joined by Lord Troll, who translated Halfstone cards as Legends of Runeterra cards. And I'm going to give my live reactions to these cards and determine how powerful they would be in Legends of Runeterra, while also guessing how strong they are in Hearthstone. Make sure to leave a like and sub to both of our channels if you enjoy this content. There's also gonna be a part 2 on his channel at the end. Without further ado, let's hop into it. Alright, so the first card we have here is Hekar the Soul Flayer, which already so looks like absolutely amazing, I'm just gonna say that. Which is a 10 mana, nine six. Man, I love 10 mana cards, it just looks majestic. 10 mana, nine six from Iona, which says, last breath, shuffle a corrupted blood into each player's deck. All right, a corrupted blood is, uh, it doesn't have a mana spell cost, is that intended? Yeah, that's intended because okay. It's cast when... Just read it and oh, I will okay. explain it. Yeah, card gamers. I should just read first. Uh, it's a burst speed spell. Casts when drawn. Your Nexus takes 3 damage. After you draw, shuffle 2 copies of this <laughs> into your deck. Wait. Cast when drawn. So when you draw it, it instantly gets casted. And then your Nexus takes 3 damage. And then you get 2 more copies of this into your deck. <laughs> Wait, yeah. that is such an interesting effect. Oh my god. So this guy for 10 mana, it only shuffles one when he dies. Yes, only, yeah, when he dies, he shuffles this corrupted blood in both players' deck. And so people don't get confused. Cast when drawn means you draw this card, it is casted, you shuffle it in your deck, and then you draw another card. So it's not like you shuffle it in your deck oh. and that's the card you drew for that turn. So. Cards that have cast when drawn mean you draw them and you draw cards in your on your turn until let's say you would have a minion or a unit uh the two mana two one for shadow isles uh, last breath draw a card so if you he would die and you would draw corrupted blood corrupted blood would be played and then you would draw another card until you draw a card that doesn't have cast when drawn like mechanic ah. <laughs> I see so <clears throat> while I absolutely love this effect because we have never like seen anything like that before i think in runeterra this would absolutely do nothing and be completely trash because you at the end of the day you play a 10 mana unit with not an amazing stat line without keywords that doesn't even do anything on the summon and you're in ionia which you don't really have access to self-slaying there unless you pair it with shadow elves and then even after you manage to slay it, you need to hope your opponent draws these. And you could also draw them, which is kind of bad. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's just very unlikely for your opponent to draw that one card that got shuffled into the deck. So usually on turn 10, they have like, let's say, 20 cards left. 20 to 25 cards, depending on how many drawing cards they played. Uh, it, it's just not likely, and then it deals just free damage, which mm, it's like it's good, but it's not great for that turn. So uh, I think in Runeterra this is really really bad, and I would just give it a one star rating. Mm -hmm. So how good do you think it is in Hearthstone? So in Hearthstone. Since they printed it as a 10 mana unit, it's maybe, it, it probably has to be better than when it was, if, if it would be like in Rune Terror, right? So, I, it, it just doesn't seem good to me. So, I think in Hearthstone, I'd still give it like maybe a 2 star rating, maybe 1.5. So, in Hearthstone, this is a 1 star card, but there was a deck that ran this. You played a card, let's say, like, Archvillain Rafam, that's the card we discussed in my part of the video of this collab. But there are cards that you re you kill. The main strategy is to kill this guy. He shuffles the Corrupted Blood in both players' decks. And then you play a card that replaces your deck with different cards. So this disappears from your deck. Oh. And now only your opponent has a, this card that will, in some time, kill them. Mm. And it has the exponential effect because when they draw one, they get two, then they get uh, four, eight, and it grows, 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 or not really a two, four, eight, but 
you get the point that the more they draw it, the more they will draw. Then it, it can happen that they draw 10 of these cards in one turn. <laughs> I see. But it doesn't see play at all. That's so interesting. If, like, if I gave this card a cool level up effect in Runeterra, like, let's just ignore the condition, but if this guy would only level up on round start, shuffle a Corrupted Blood into their deck, that would make it a lot better, I think. But I, yeah. I still don't think it would see play, because it's just way too slow for what it does. But it would be a cool effect. I, I would kind of like that to have. <laughs> I was thinking that his leveled up effect would be whenever a player draws a Corrupted Blood, your opponent nexus takes that damage. So it would, like, if you have a fast draw deck, you could, like, lose cards really fast. Oh. And your opponent deck, like, nexus would take that damage. And also, if your opponent is playing something like Jaina Nila combo, this would kill them. Literally, this would kill them. But this guy, interesting. this guy against a Sunken Temple deck is the dream. Like, that guy counters Sunken Temple, which I would love to have in the game, honestly. <laughs> if just he wasn't 10 mana, that's like so slow. It is. It is really expensive. If it in Hearthstone, I would say that if like this would be the level up effect, because we in Hearthstone don't have a like, level up champions, we have just mm. the effect itself. If it would be for 10 mana 9 6, shuffle a corrupted blood in your opponent's deck only, or if this would be, let's say, a 3 mana, uh, 3 mana 3 1. Then you could kind of cheat out things and it could see play, but still it is too slow. Yeah, it looks really cool though. Let's move on to the next one, which is the Cult Neophyte, which is a 2 mana 3 2 from Demacia that says play your opponent's spells cost one more next turn. Okay, that is such a Demacian thing to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like just I know that very well. <laughs> griefing the spells from your opponent. For two mana, three two Stellan is fantastic. Like that's great. And honestly, the play effect itself is not too bad. Like that that's that's nice to have for the for the Masia deck where you like imagine you want to go for a four Demacia or champion strength turn. You play this guy for two mana on that turn, which has like a good stat line and also gets buffed later, and your opponent has like plus one mana spells in hand, which they have to play in order to survive. Like that that card is nuts. I don't think it's broken, but it definitely would be a really, really good card that would see in mo play in most Demacia decks that you have. So, out of a 5-star rating, I would give it a 4. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, how good do you think it is in Hearthstone? That's the question I will ask you. Um, in Hearthstone... I don't... F I, I think this is way better in Return than Hearthstone. So, in Hearthstone, I would give it like a 2.5-star rating. At best. Mm -hmm. I would say... It is in wild, but when it was released and it was in standard, it was kind of not auto include, but it was a decent three cost card. If you were like, okay, my deck, uh, I need, uh, let's say, two other cards or three other cards that I should fill in my deck, you just put this guy in because its effect is general. It's not like specified, for example, give all the Masia units plus one plus one. This, you could put it in any deck you want. In Hearthstone, we have like a neutral class. It's like a neutral region. And cards from this region can be put in any deck, no matter what. In any region you could uh -huh. pair them with. So this was kind of like a card that you could like, okay, I need to fill my deck with something. And this is one of the best options. So I would say that it's a free star card or two point half. Exactly what you said, like two point half star card. Damn, yeah, nailed it. <laughs> yeah, you actually did. I was surprised. I thought you would say something like totally broken or totally terrible, but actually it's exactly 2.5 stars. Well, yeah, in Ruterra, I think it would be a lot better, like by far for a star rating. Like not broken, but really, really good. But yeah. Let's move on on the next one, which is the Arma Vendor, which is a one mana PNC unit with a one free stellar that says on play, give four health to each Nexus. Okay, so that that is interesting. In PNC, we don't have any healing. That, so that already is like really weird to have. 
Uh, my question is, does it increase the max health of the Nexus or is it just healing? It In Hearthstone, it is armor. It, you have, let's say, 20, your Nexus has 20 health and let's say you get 4 armor on top of this. So it is exactly the same as e both Nexuses would go from 20 health to 24 health. Uh -huh. But in uh, the fact that it's like armor, you cannot, let's say, if you would drop down to 20 health and you would play a heal effect, you couldn't heal up back to those 24 health initially. That's how it would be if it would ah. be exactly the same as in Hearthstone. So let's say it increases the max health in, in Rune Terra. It's yeah. like not really a PNC thing to do, but usually in PNC, you, you want to delay like turns so you can pop off with the combo that you have in mind or your deck is built around. So getting four extra health and being able to take like more hits using your Nexus as a resource is like really, really big. And since you can play this guy like two times in a game, that's like eight more health for one, for like two mana in total. Like that, that's fantastic. And one free stat line also for one drop in a region that is not really all about attacking. Like that, that guy can, uh, like that card can block like two units, which is really, really nice in the early game to stall. So yeah, <laughs> that card seems great to have. So I would probably give it uh, a 3.5 star rating. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. I can kind of imagine it. And what about Hearthstone? How good do you think it is? In Hearthstone, I'm guessing you play also this, this card in, in combo decks where you want to get to that combo turn. So I think mm -hmm. in those specific decks, it's really nice to get, get that armor. So probably just as in Runeterra, I would give it a 3.5 star rating. So in Hearthstone, there are like three things we need to consider. First thing is if it would be just a general card that you would fill your deck with. If your deck is a control deck, that means that you want to win in the later games or stages of the game, it is a auto include and it would be a five star card in control decks. If it's just like in aggro decks, it's the opposite. It's negative five star card. <laughs> so the goal with playing this card is that you have a combo, how you said, that you basically want to kill your opponent later. So you and your opponent get more health. Now, the main reason is who benefits more? You getting those four health or your opponent? If you, then this is a great card to include. If your opponent never have this card in your deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Just to kind of say, like the star rating in general, there's something like Armor Warrior. It's like a guy who has a ton of armor, aka health. Uh, it's very good. But as a general, like how good it is in like all the decks and what I can think of, you actually nailed it. I would also give it three <laughs> and point half stars. Hey yo, popping off. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I'm surprised you've got two cards in Let's a row. Let's go. All right, I'll, I'll keep that up then. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> next one, we have the Doomsayer, which is a two mana zero seven. I've never seen a stellar like that before, especially in Noxus, which says at the start of your turn, destroy all unit. <laughs> what is this effect? Excuse me. <laughs> so it also destroys itself, I'm guessing. <laughs> it oh my God. Itself. That is a two mana ruination in Doxus. That car is it nuts. Is, it is. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think that car is nuts. Like, a two mana ruination. Like, it, it's not really a Noxus thing to do. But uh, since Noxus mostly just wants to go aggro, so it's, it's, it doesn't really care about enemy units. But if you play some sort of control ish decks, this is a two mana ruination and absolutely broken. <laughs> so, there, there's these two situations. Do you play a, a, a standard Noxus deck? Then this, this card is like not really great. But if you play it in a control deck, this card is bonkers. <laughs> so, <laughs> everything considered, I think this card could find a specific... Like, like there's a Wildfire control deck. Which is like a two mana spell that deals one to the enemy Nexus. It shuffles itself into the deck and then it will increase the damage the next time you play it by one. And this goes in, like mm -hmm. infinite. And in a control deck like that, I think this card is broken or like could be broken. So 
in total, I would give it a four star rating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And how good do you think it is in Hearthstone? And now there's a really important thing I need to mention. In Hearthstone, you can decide which minion or unit attacks which unit. In Runeterra, when you, I expect, if you would play this guy, you wouldn't block with him because he then destroys all the units or you wouldn't attack, he has zero health. So he is like in 99% of cases for two mana ruination, as you say. But in Hearthstone, you can decide if you want which units attack him. So you could like force all of your units to deal their damage yeah. to this guy. So just keep that in consideration. All right, so in Hearthstone, I don't think you you really want to play this card on curve in the early game. Like just like in Runeterra, it doesn't really do much in the early turns. And yeah, later on. Mm, so the thing is, if you wait, it says at the start of your turn, so not just the next turn, right? So if you play it on your turn and your opponent, it's like your opponent's turn now. It doesn't like proc the effect, right? No, no, no. It's like you. Uh, play this, you end your turn, your opponent plays their cards, they end their turn, and then your turn starts and it destroys all units. Mm, okay. Yeah, okay, no, then I think this card is probably useless in Hearthstone. So, I don't think it would really get to that effect that much, so I, I'd give it like a one, one star rating. So, you are not on your uh, guess streak, I would give this card three stars. <sighs> and Damn it! <laughs> the, the, yeah, but you are kind of close with the, like, if you, I would compare it to Ranchera. There are two main reasons why you would play Doomsla Doomsayer. You play him on turn <laughs> two against an aggro deck. Your opponent has, let's say, a Teemo and, and uh, like, few, like, pirates uh, and stuff like that. Or they, like, play an aggro deck. And they are not able on their turn two, to, or I could say their turn three, to destroy this guy. So they are like, okay, I am skipping my turn because no matter what unit I play, it will get destroyed and I will just lose that card. So I will just skip my turn. So you play a guy on two mana, your opponent skips their turn in aggro decks and you destroy all enemy units most of the time. So you don't have like your units on board. So that's the main idea because you are like, okay, I am playing a 0-7. 7, seven is a lot of health in Hearthstone for two mana. Okay, I have a 0-7 guy, skip your turn. And you are like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm skipping my turn, damn it. I'm an aggro deck and skipping even one turn means if, like, can be the difference if you win or lose the game. <laughs> but in control decks, you don't really play this guy because, or you could play it, but the main reason is anti-aggro decks, in my opinion. Oh, I see. But yeah, in, in Runeterra, it's, I think people would... Very would be very tilted with that card. I think it would be very broken because you can just play it after yeah. your opponent attacked, and then when it's your turn, it kills everything, and you still have all the mana and can develop. So yeah, that card would probably be broken. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on to the next one, which is the Acidic Swamp O's. I'm probably butchering these names super hard. Uh, which is a two mana. No, it's actually perfect. Oh really? Nice. <laughs> Which yeah, is <laughs> yeah, actually yeah. a two mana three two Bandle City card that says on play destroy your opponent's equipment. Okay. Wait, so if you play this, just every equipment that is on the board right now is destroyed, right? Uh it wouldn't. Like in Hearthstone you have weapons which you give your hero. It's like it's an equipment that you would give to your nexus and the nexus can attack the enemy nexus or enemy units with it mm -hmm. so it was very hard to transform it but when you play this you can uh, pick an enemy unit and you destroy that equipment that that's what it would do i see so the thing is <coughs> in runeterra this card is way too specific because th there are only a few decks that really run equipment or like a lot of equipment so I don't think there is ever a reason to just main deck this guy. Because if you play against a non-equipment deck, it just does nothing. It's a 2-mana 3-2, which is like, okay, cool, I have that, but it does nothing. So it doesn't really seem great to be to to have in Runeterra. So I, I give it a one star rating because this would not see play. Mm -hmm. And what about Hearthstone? 
In Hearthstone, I probably think it's a little bit better, but I, I also like I, I don't play Hearthstone, but there's these weapons that you mentioned. I don't think there's like uh, these are in every single deck, so it's probably also really specific. So I'd give it maybe maybe a two star rating. So I will just say this so you can adjust your rating in Hearthstone. There's the same percentage amount or a little bit better amount of using weapons in your deck as in Ranchera right now. Okay. Mm, yeah, I mean, I think I still stick to the two star rating for Hearthstone then. I would give it a maximum of two stars because how you said it's too specific. And the main reason why this card was even created was that there were weapons. Let's say you played uh, equipment for four mana or five mana, and your opponent plays this, so you so they get like three mana crystals or two mana crystals like in return for that trade. But overall, it's way too specific. If it would be destroy a random equipment or destroy an equipment, and if they don't have an equipment or board or in their hand or deck, or it would destroy basically a random equipment your opponent has, for example, in their deck. So it would at least do something if they would be running uh, equipment. But they are not that played in Hearthstone. This is one of the oldest cards, now that I think about it, ever added to Hearthstone. <laughs> I see. Yeah, but it's it's terrible. No one sees. Yeah, it would also be That's terrible in Runeterra. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> The problem is how you said it's way too specific. Yeah. Now, how many games in the past twenty games have you encountered a deck that hard like that plays equipment? Mm, I mean, there's like one deck which is like Jax Orn, which is like always here. Mm -hmm. Like people, some people you you maybe meet it once every fifteen games, and yeah. that that deck is like built around these weapons. Everything mm -hmm. else in the meta basically doesn't play equipment. Maybe you like yeah. You maybe you meet equipment once every five six games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Hearthstone is the same. There's only that one class which I could compare it to. Like, I know I can't really compare it. It's more of like get a lot of health and play a weapon. That's the only class that really runs some weapons. And in their deck of thirty cards, they have like only maximum of I think there's only two copies of that card. So from thirty cards. The deck that plays mostly weapons is this card, like this class, and it has only two weapons, so it's terrible. <laughs> it's like a counter to something that might not even appear. Yeah, it's just way too specific, but all right. Let's move on to the next one, which is the Siphon Soul, a four mana Shadow Eyes fast speed spell, which says destroy a unit, restore free health to your... Oh my god, no, that, that card is broken. I can already tell you that card is broken. <laughs> because in Runeterra, we have a six mana fast speed spell that says kill a unit, which is like already what this card does, but this card does even more while being cheaper for two mana. <laughs> it even more easier for free. Like that card in yeah. Terra is Omega broken. <laughs> yeah. That... I really wanted to include this <laughs> card there. Sorry for interrupting. If I'm correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but mm -hmm. if you play Azir and you level him up with the Sun Disk, there's this four mana obliterate, I think, or like a yeah. hand with sand, uh, obliterate a follower. Yeah. Am I correct? Yeah, exactly. And this can destroy even a legendary, like a champion, and it on the top of that, it restores free health to your hero. Yeah, so the oh, thing is, that sense. card that you mentioned, it also draws you a card, which makes it like a lot better, oh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. drawing a card is yeah. amazing. But yeah, as you said, mm -hmm. it only targets followers, and this card for four mana <laughs> kills a unit. <laughs> like, this, this can be a champion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it can. Uh, like, yeah, that's an easy five star rating in Runeterra, like, easily. Yeah. Maybe even more, maybe like 10 stars. Yeah, like, uh, honestly, that, that'd be a 10 star rating if it was possible. <laughs> yeah, from, uh, like, you can rate the card from 1 to 5 stars. Yeah, it's 10 stars. <coughs> yeah. But now this is in interesting. How good do you think it is in Hearthstone? Uh, so in Hearthstone, like, <laughs> as said, in Hearthstone we don't have the spell mana, right? So that, that already makes it infinitely worse. Still, for 4 mana, being able to kill any unit while also hitting an Exus doesn't seem bad. 
but you are missing that four mana on developing your units. So I think it's okay to have, but it's not like anything crazy. So in that half stun, I'd give it a three star rating. You must be kidding me. I just wanted to say you are wrong. It's three star card. You must be kidding me. I thought <laughs> you would give it like five stars or something like that. Crazy. <laughs> it is actually three stars in my opinion, because the problem is like, makes it infinitely worse how you said the spell mana we don't have anything like that and this card was originally six mana but two oh years God. or one year ago because it was terrible it has 0.0% <laughs> 0 .0 play rate and win rate in decks they made it two mana cheaper and just like think of any card in Rantera and they would say oh yeah this card is not played that much let's just make it two mana cheaper that makes it infinitely better yeah and this basically kind of it's okay to have in deck like a fulfillment card. Let's say if you are playing a control deck, you just put it there. Okay, if they have a vengeance in uh, Rantera, if you like, yeah, I I'm running like one or two vengeances. What if they have a, a 2020 unit on board for some reason? It's okay. You actually nailed it. I would give it three stars. Pog, let's go, man. Back to the streak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> I would not want to see that card in Room Terror, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can just see that it would be like only meta decks would be running these cards. Like one hundred percent of decks would run this card if they could. Yeah, every like one hundred percent of Shadow Us decks plays this. Like it, currently, even every Shadow Us spells almost every single one plays Vengeance. So if you have access to that card, like it's one hundred percent. The next card is Seeds of Destruction, which is also from Shadow Eyes, a two-mana fast speed spell that says shuffle four rifts into your deck. They summon a free free dread imp when drawn. Okay, this is just a three mana free free that does nothing. Okay, 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 wait. Two mana, you shuffle four into your deck. And when you draw them, they get summoned. Yes, exactly. So when you draw Ooh. them, uh let's say you draw one on turn five, it gets summoned and you draw another card. That is Interesting. So Shadow Isles does have a lot of card draw. And since you shuffle four of those into your deck, this is an interesting card. I wouldn't even know like in what type of deck you would play this, but it definitely seems like a really, really fun card that could maybe have its own deck. Mm -hmm. mm, uh, yeah, like, I, I would love to play around with that card in Runeterra. Maybe with like Shurima Predicts to find them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool, actually. But yeah, I, from a rating perspective, I'd probably give it a 2.5 star rating because I can't really say how good it is because it, it's probably its own deck. I wouldn't know in what kind of deck you would play it otherwise. So yeah, that's my best guess. Mm -hmm. And how good do you think in Hearthstone it is? In Hearthstone... I will just say, in Rancheria, you have 40 cards in your starting deck. In mm -hmm. Hearthstone, you have 30 cards oh, in your starting deck. I didn't even know that. Okay. Uh, that, that makes it better, in my opinion. So, yeah, may, may, maybe like uh, a 3.5 star rating in Hearthstone then. I still wouldn't know where you want to play that, in what kind of deck. So... You are correct with the thing, like, in what deck you would play it. I would give it, objectively, like, 1 star or 1.5 star, but subjectively, I would give it 2 stars. Okay. So, the biggest problem, even though you have 10 less cards in your deck, is that for 2 mana, do nothing and hope that you, your RNG and you will high roll these cards. But what I really love is that for 2 mana, you can potentially... You shuffle in your deck, like four of these guys, you shuffle four, three, three units that when you draw them, they immediately get summoned. So you have like value on board. Yeah. So if you would draw them immediately in like, you would play this on turn two and on turn three, you draw all four of them. Your opponent is surrendering. <laughs> <take it out. laughs> but the problem is that it is like gamble and yeah. we as Hearthstone players, I believe even in Rancher, you don't want to gamble like, yeah, <laughs> maybe, yeah, uh, maybe, uh, yeah, I will bet on it that it, I will draw it and I will win. Oh, I but, love trying to high roll. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's fun. It's fun. But overall, it is great value, but I played it a few times and I personally have seen it only once in my entire life played by my opponent. Okay. No one is playing it. And the, how I said, the problem is the 
a chance of you drawing them. Like, we would rather have a two mana spell uh, do something now rather than, okay, mm. maybe in the future, if I don't lose the game, this would be a lot more valuable. Yeah, that's makes basically sense. the main reason why it like people don't want to play it. Yeah, I, I guess that's pretty that it's pretty similar as if it was in Runeterra probably. But I'm pretty I'm pretty sure you can you could fit this into a deck that could somewhat be yeah, yeah. nice and fun. But yeah, this this would not be anything game breaking, but definitely fun. Next on we have the Chill Fallen Baron, which is a three mana two two unit from Freljord that says on play and also last breath. Draw a card. Oh my god. That card is bananas. So in Freljord, we do not have card draw. There used to be a card that was a 2 mana 2-1 two, that says on last breath draw a card, which, which was the the, yeah, yeah. the sentry guy. Sentry. Yeah, but yeah, that, yeah. that card was rotated. So Freljord does not have any card draw, like any, any good card draw. So this guy being like a 3 mana 2-2 two, two in a region that like buffs its deck with like Omen Hawk and the, the Omen Dog potentially mm -hmm. becoming bigger and drawing you two cards while giving you a, a good like body. Uh, that's like fantastic. That's a 1-2-3 curve in, in Freljord that you want in every single deck. Like that card is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So uh, for me, that's like a 4, probably even 4.5 star rating. And what about Hearthstone? Whew, so... In general, how, 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 how is Hearthstone in, in terms of like drawing cards? So it depends from class to class. For example, the Shadow Isle class that I showcased, they have the hero power for two mana. You can use it each turn. Like it's a permanent thing. For two mana, draw a card your nexus takes two damage so they have no problem I, that's why i love the class they have no problem this class has no problem with drawing cards but this card is in a, a new class in the newest class edit i think one year or maybe two year one year ago uh, it's the lich king and they don't really have that much draw cards so i would say like they there are like some Cards that will draw you cards, but there are definitely more in this class than in Freljord. So that's, I hope I answer okay. your question. Yeah, right. no, definitely. Okay, I think this card is way better in Runeterra than it is in Hearthstone. So in Hearthstone, you play a 3 mana 2 2 on Curve. That, yeah, it draws you a card now and maybe later. I, I don't think in Hearthstone that's that great, even. Maybe I'm like completely wrong here, but. It's it's probably not terrible. So in total in Hearthstone, I'd give it like a two point five star rating. You missed it uh, a little bit. I would give it three stars because oh. even though like the effect, but the fact that you draw two cards uh, for three mana and you have a two two guy on your board, that's pretty decent. And yes, we have more draw cards that draw cards. But this is a still, like, if you want to fill your deck with something, in my case, when I played the Death Knight class, it's like undead guys and frozen and stuff like that, you can imagine. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, like, if I'm looking for a card to fill my deck, this is the first card that I put in every deck that I make for this class. And it kind of makes sense because it's a lot better to, like, uh, have a, in your hand a 3-mana 2-2 two -two that play draw a card and last breath draw a card rather than having let's say one card you played and now you need to be lucky that you draw a good card but this guy basically you play one card and from that one card you draw two cards from your deck so i would say it's a very decent card and how i said when i fill my deck with something i wouldn't say junk but with something this is the first card i fill my deck with but you are actually close like you said 2.5 and i i believe it's like three stars I would say you are like nearly maybe 2.5, but yeah, you are very close actually. <laughs> nice. All right, and for the last card, we have the Alexandrus Mograin, which is a seven mana, seven seven from Shadow Isles that says on play for the rest of the game, deal three damage to the enemy Nexus at the end of your turns. Oh my god, what the hell is this? For the rest of the game, <laughs> deal free damage to the enemy. <laughs> oh my god, that is that is such a strong effect. I love it. It's it's only at the end of my turn, though, right? Not at the enemy yes. turns. Yeah. yeah, only at the end of your turn. 
But you can replay it and then it stacks and then it's suddenly it's six yes, stab. Yes. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. yes. There it oh my I love this. <laughs> I'm speechless. Yeah. So I will just say that I put it in Shadow Wilds because of the card art, but originally it should be is the in the same class and as Chill Fallen Baron. So it would you could kind of say this would be a dual class card that it would be both in Shadow Wilds and both in Freljord. So oh. kind of like it makes sense a bit more. The art is a lot more like Shadow Wilds, but mm -hmm. originally it is from Freljord. Ah, interesting. Hmm. Okay. In terms of power. Hmm... Like that effect is like, it, it's really good. It's a seven drop though. It doesn't have keywords. Is it really? Is it gonna be play? Mm, it's. It, I, I guess there is probably gonna be decks where this guy is like the star, where you just try to delay turns in an, in some sort of control decks. You play this guy, and that's all he did. And now you just kill all of the units and try to stall and win off of that, and maybe replay him later again, so you win faster. So I, I guess there there can be degenerate decks with this guy. I think the effect is really interesting. So in total, I would probably give him uh, a three point five star rating, maybe just three. Okay. And in Hearthstone, what do you think? I must say, this is one of the newest, or not really newest, it's like one year old or something like that, but it's one of the newer cards released. How good do you think it is? Whew. New card. It is, I need to mention, it is in Standard. It's not in Eternal. Mm -hmm. It is in Standard. It's a seven mana card. Might be very slow in Hearthstone. Mm. That's difficult. It is. <laughs> uh, I I think this card can be playable then in Hearthstone. I don't. It it like doesn't seem broken to me there. So I would probably also give it around uh, like a three star rating in Hearthstone. Maybe it's slightly better there. So, so I'd give it a three point five star rating in Hearthstone. So in Hearthstone, I personally I play this card a lot. I think more than fifty times I play this card. <laughs> I would give the card, based on my personal experience and how others say, I would give it a 2.5 stars, exactly in the middle. Mm -hmm. Because you have this deck which builds around this card. You want to stall the game as long as possible, and now you play this guy. and Or you can play him on turn 10. You have, like, there's a brand bronze beard, not really important, but it makes that your next play effect kind of is doubled. So you deal 6 damage to the enemy, like, next to each turn. But let's say that you would have him as a fill card. The coolest thing when this card was released, I remember one creator was like, so this is a permanent TikTok card that each turn you just hit him and you know the <laughs> game will end and he needs to react. He cannot stall at this moment when you play this card. So this effect, when it was released, everyone said it's a five-star card, it's broken, it should get nerfed. But <laughs> the biggest problem is the seven cost. Yeah. Like, that's the biggest problem. And the class, which is Death Knight, they don't really have mana cheats. So... You play him on turn 7, and it's a 7-7, seven, seven. that's like okay in Hearthstone. Effect is great, but it's slow. Even in Standard, it is kind of a slow deck, and the fact that you can have only one copy of this card in your deck, because it's a Legendary minion, and in Hearthstone you can have only one copy of each Legendary, or aka each Champion card, and you have a deck with 30 cards, you need to draw him, and you need to play him on turn 7 to be viable. But when you <laughs> play him, he kind of gives a tick tack on your opponent and you know they must just play. Like, they need to kill you because otherwise you kill them by stalling. So yeah. it's very interesting. I would, really, I would give it 2.5 stars. Personally, I would give it 3 stars, but I would say 2.5 stars. Yeah, so for Rotero, if you don't have this guy on curve and the deck is built around him, then you just lose. But yeah. if he really... It's the same thing. Yeah, but if if he if like the Siphon Soul spell that we had before, right? If that card also was in the game with this guy like being in the same region, <laughs> it would be like so broken. <laughs> yeah, uh, I love it. Yeah, I, I really love the effect. So, but the, the level up effect. I I wonder what this guy would do yeah. on a level up effect. Like, there's definitely the possibility they take, instead of 3 damage, they take 6 damage. But let's think of something more original. Kind of boring, yeah. 
Yeah, it is. It is. I guess a strong effect would be that it procs on just the round end, not only on your turns. Mm -hmm. But I, I guess then his level up need, needs to be a bit difficult to achieve. Yeah, I do have a great idea now. His right. level up condition would be with this exact like effect, you would deal, uh, let's say, six damage to the enemy nexus. And when he levels up, play in uh, replace this effect with a different effect which would be called let's say the curse of cards and that would do that whenever your opponent plays a card their nexus takes one damage and all oh. enemy minions take one damage wait that is so that is so mean whenever they play a card they take damage so they have to navigate around that that is so cool yes <laughs> it, it is actually i don't know how i came up with it but if you think about it, you play him, let's say if you are lucky, you play him on turn 7. On turn 8, he would level up at the end of your turn because he would deal 6 damage. Or let's say on turn 9, he would level up to make it kind of balanced. And then when your opponent plays a card, you will deal 1 damage to all like the enemy nexus. And I think also all enemy units. Because if he would play, let's say, only 3 cards per turn, then it has the same effect. Like time bomb from... Uh, what's the two mana one four guy from Shurima who shuffles time bombs? Ah, uh, Cillian. Yeah, he he would be like him that you would play the bomb and basically when your opponent <laughs> plays a card, their minions, they all yeah. enemies take one damage. I think that would be That's a cool. cool way. That would be a cool thing. It would be so toxic, but it would be so beautiful. <laughs> okay, I I love this. I would love to have that in the game. That is such an interesting thing to do. Afstam really has so many interesting cards and mechanics that we don't yeah, have in Runeterra. Yeah. And what I want to ask you, what do you think about the card art? Because we didn't really talk that much, we talked about the effects, but what do you think about the card art? The card art? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Like, in general. Like, all, like, of all these all cards, the cards that we saw. Like, yeah, what we saw. Like, overall, like, some of them are, the old, for example, Acidic, Swamp Ooze. Doom Slayer, they are like one of the oldest cards in the game. But for example, like Armor Vendor, Cool Neophyte, uh, Alexander Morgrain, they are like newer cards, so the art, card art is a lot better. But mm -hmm. what do you think generally compared to Runeterra's artwork? This it's is kind of an interesting. Definitely thing. an own style. Like, if you see the art, you definitely know, like, this is Hearthstone. Um, mm -hmm. Like, the design of these followers are really interesting. I kind of like them. I still think I would prefer Runeterra art over this, mm -hmm. but yeah, Hearthstone definitely has like more monster-ish cards than Runeterra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if we, if like people are more into that, like that, this is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I like it, but I, I think I still prefer Runeterra art over this. Mm -hmm. I don't want to like uh, every Hearthstone player watching this. You never heard me say, but I. <laughs> Personally, would think that Runeterra has just a slightly better card art. <laughs> You're gonna get hated. I just, yeah, I, I love Viego card art with incruciating mists. That was the first deck that I played when I downloaded Runeterra, and I still play it, even though it might not be the best. I love him a lot. Yeah, I also love the Viego art a lot. That used to be my my profile picture of my channel back in the day when I started off. <laughs> <laughs> I am saying, I think it's one of the best arts that both games have. Like... But yeah, definitely fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think we can end it here. <laughs> Alright, so that's all the cards. Thanks so much for joining me. Yeah, I also am happy actually. I'm surprised that I got so much motivated and in three hours I <laughs> made all of these cards. I don't know what got into me if I had like hours on drugs or what. This was a lot of fun to do. Make sure to check out part 2 on Lord Toro's channel, where we also had spicy cards and definitely my favorite card out of both videos. Link is in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.